Hello, this is Steve Powers. I'm going to uh, continue uh, to part three of uh, Blender's video sequence editing series. Um, in the last one, we added a um, uh, a static uh, image um, over the beginning of um, a video and overlaid text onto that. Um, and uh, right now, what we want to do is we want to create a fade in uh, or a fade out effect, I should say. Um, right now you can see if we go back to back to one if I hit uh, play um, it starts there and we just which is okay um, hold on a second I am going to turn this playback uh, well it's, it's going to be playing back the uh, video uh, the audio as well um, but um, in this case um, you can see how it just starts with uh, the title which is fine um, we can do that, hard start, um, and then we can, uh, what we want to do when we get in here, we want to start to fade, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to add an effect strip, okay? And we want to do a, well, let's do a game across. Um, I think, oops, hold on a second. I'm going to, um, I have to select this. We're going to do this, and I believe we can do this. Hit that and that, and hit game across. You have to have two uh, selected already before you uh, add a, an effect. So let's see what this does right off the bat. Okay. So when we come here, we're coming in here. See, that just starts right there. We don't necessarily want that. So, you, you can see I don't want it, it dark, but that's what it does. It darkens the other one as well. So, instead of adding an effect, in this case, okay, we want to do that. We only want this to uh, change out here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this. Old X key to delete. And instead of creating a fade-in with um, an effect strip, what we're going to do is let's animate um the opacity this is the beauty of doing this in blender is i can animate anything in blender uh, two dot uh, prior to that in the 2.4 series um, you couldn't animate everything but in two dot in this case 2.6 you can so um uh, that is what we want to animate so we just want to fade that out okay so we grab the uh where do we want to do this? This effect strip is okay. It is 74. Let's go to make it 75. Okay, just to make it a little longer. Make this just one more. Make it even. So it's uh, three seconds long. Okay, this is three seconds long. Let's fade out for the last. Um, let's fade out for the last 50. So what we're going to have to do is um, let's go to 50 here or last 25, excuse me, last second. And we'll just do a gradual fade out here. So go to 50, and we have the opacity. I can uh, add uh, do, 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 insert keyframe. So I right-clicked on it, hit insert keyframe, okay, and it's at 100%. Then I want to change it to gradually go out to 0, and I put it at 0. Okay, and hit insert keyframe, right click, hit insert keyframe. So, what we have is just that. So, just the text fades away. Alright, so that is the quickest way to um, do a fade out with when you only want that text. So you can see here, I added a couple, um, uh, three seconds of uh, a still image taken from the first image, and this was done in the first in this uh, part two, and then we just animated that fade out. Okay, um, now um, to, well, let's move on to um, part four, and uh, we'll, I'll show you how to add um, a watermark, which is a rather quick one as well.